You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be doing predictions for the No Mercy pay-per-view that's no coming mercy. up on Sunday. Yes. All right. Um, so as of right now, there is no match. Um, scheduled for the pre-show? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you think they're just going to do the Cruiserweight thing? Where they just throw a tag match together? Yeah, it's possible. Or they'll have, like, um... Unless we you have know, the Hardys versus, like... No, I don't think so. What I think might happen is they might have, um... Uh, Cedric Alexander against, uh... Grand Metal League? No. That would be amazing. Against, um... Oh, Jack Gallagher. Jack, yeah, that's true. So that might happen. Yeah. That's, that's that that would be point. my guess. If if they if they go with the cruiserweight thing or a tag match or like you said maybe the Hardys will face somebody. He's later in Rhino or the club or the club. Yeah, that seems the most likely. I mean, they both deserve to be on. You know, I don't even the know show. if they can consider the. Um, what's it called? Consider, the pre-show being on the pay-per-view. I know technically it isn't, but no. you would think they would. Well, you don't make the DVD then, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, what do you think opens the show? Oh, it's gonna Ballard be Neville. And and, no, yeah. Neville and Enzo. Yeah, absolutely. Enzo opening the show. Yeah, I guess that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. especially since he's the challenger. Yeah, well, that that's why he would be. Yeah. All right. So, uh, oh man, what do you think about this cruiserweight title match? I'll tell you a million things about what I think about this. Sure. One, it shouldn't happen. Why? But. Why? I, I I love Enzo in this in this um, role. Whatever, you're allowed to have your own opinions. So. That's true. Well, I want to see Neville kick the crap out of him, so I'm gonna go with Neville. That seems fair. It's probably gonna happen. Yeah, I don't see him winning the title yet. Yeah, and I, if I they do, I think that would be a very big mistake on their part. Uh, he can win it eventually, just not now. Yeah, no. But yeah, I'm I'm going with Neville as well. Yeah, it just. I mean, they've they've built up a little bit, but I feel like this isn't going to be the the end of this feud. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously, because especially they... since you have uh, TLC next. What's that have to do with anything? No, I mean before the big. Before oh, before Survivor Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So you still have another pay per view to get this feud over with. Yeah. So I. And there's a good chance that he might not even pick up the title at all. But I, I think right now they nah, see the... I feel like they're they're using him in the role that Ares could have been used in. Well, yeah. But I, I, right now I think they see the... Um... The draw with him? Yes. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. You might as well go with the uh, the draw for the time being. Keep mm-hmm. it. As long as you got to ride the wave, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so what do you think the second match is going to be? Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. You think? Um, I'm going to go with that or maybe the women's match? Yeah, hmm. I guess. Uh, I wrote down the Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, There's a lot of title matches in a row here. but Well, that's all there really is besides the, the two the Cena oh. and yeah. uh, Balor match. Pretty much that and the Bray like and Seven Finn. matches? How many matches did we have? The last pay per view was it six? Yeah, it was, it's been pretty consistently five or six. Right, yeah. So the That's seven here is question. actually I, I know, but it. So why'd you keep scrolling down? Because I didn't know where this part was. Yeah, likely excuse. Mm-hmm. Now you're in NXT. Shut up. What are you doing? I'm going backwards. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm here. You're always going backwards. I'm here. Man, it took forever. Eight matches at Battleground. See. But well, we had that high teller in an English match on the yeah. show. Well, With two match? No, just the one. Also, for the most part, the Raw ones have had less matches, but the matches were longer. longer. Yeah. Well, Which is funny. You're going to have those probably same video packages we oh, got no. on Raw. There's nine here. Really? Or maybe we're just wrong. Probably just wrong. Yep. You're wrong. That's right. Sure. Money in the <laughs> bank up. Had to have had All right, so anyway, we'll say Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. Seven. Next. Whatever. Right? Yeah, that's where Fair we're Fair estimation? With. Yeah. Do you care about this match? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's no reason Balor shouldn't win this. Oh, yeah. 
completely buried Finn, uh, Bray. Whoever loses it's going to be the buried one. No. Uh, That's true. Balor right? can lose this match. Yeah. Just he shouldn't. No. So. Uh, I, I really mean, all right. So, so if, like I talked about in our Raw review about Joe and maybe Jason Jordan feuding, mm-hmm. do you think we could get Balor and Miz? I hope so. I, yeah, uh, you, I predi- you, or I should have said that Balor should take it from the Miz. Yeah, that would make the most sense, but, you know. I, I feel like they're going to keep on putting Jason Jordan against the Miz, though. I don't think it's a good idea, but no. I feel like that's what they're going to do. Or are they going to be like, you know, <clears throat> I feel like they're <clears throat> going to have to put the title on him. Like, that's how they feel, that they need the title on him. Yeah. Well, because that's what they do. It's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta, you need a title to feel important. Yeah, yeah. So, what match are we predicting is number three? Ah, uh, the women's match. You think? Yeah. All right. Who you got? Um, I want to say Nia Jax. Yeah, you think? I think her time has come. <clears throat> She'll win it and then hold it until Oscar gets up. It's so hard to tell. I, I feel like maybe she'll win it, and then when she drops it, it's going to be in a match like this yeah. where they it's a multi-woman match, and it's going to be, depending on what they do with Asuka, mm-hmm. have Asuka pin, let's say, a, a Bailey, and she wins the title from Nia, and yeah, you establish dominance of Asuka mm-hmm. by fanning off Nia Jax yeah. instead of beating her. All right. Well, I think because the deck is so stacked against her, I think Bliss is going to end up walking away with the title. I uh, getting a quick pin maybe on uh, Emma or something like that. She was my number two guess, yeah. just I because mean, of how well she's been. Right. Exactly. Like I said, riding the riding the wave. Yeah. So and she's great. Oh, so absolutely. I. I, I don't want to see her drop the title, but I have a feeling that just the way they've been doing everything, Nia Jax might be able to pull it off. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think these two are the only ones that are yeah. logical choices here. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, what do we got next? Uh, we're going to go with the tag team titles. So Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I, I, don't, I think we're both in agreement here. Dean and Seth will hold the titles forever. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, they're, they're holding the titles. Yeah. At least on Sunday. Um, Yeah. I, I guess like you, you don't think this feud's going to be over yet, do you? No. I Like like I said on the Raw recap, I think they're going into TLC and going to have a, a triple threat TLC match with these two and the Hardys. Yeah. I could be wrong, but, you know, it's fun to well, imagine things. We don't know when the Revival comes back, right? It doesn't matter. They're not going to be involved with that. No, but I'm saying the, the best way to have Dean and Seth drop the titles would, would be, be to the Revival? Multi- no, it would be a multi-team match, like you said, Nia Jax would oh. lose the title. Uh, it would be the best way for yeah. them to drop it. But I think that, in reality, it's going to be a, a storyline where they start fighting. Yeah, maybe maybe Royal Rumble then. Yeah, where they Something lose, like where they lose the titles at the Royal Rumble, yeah. and they're the both in the Royal Rumble match, mm-hmm. and they end up eliminating each other. So, and that starts a feud between for the two of them. WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, that would that would make sense. Yeah, I guess so. Look at us long term booking. Yeah. Well, when did we get Seth and Dean last? Hell in a Cell, two thousand fourteen. Okay, yeah, I know this. Came back. Yes, I know this because that's the only pay per view. Between now and I want to say like 1999 that I haven't seen. Really? Yeah. That was the first one when I they got the free trial of the mm-hmm. network that I had watched. And, and you said that the main event was very lackluster, like yeah. the crowd reaction was bad. Yeah. And I didn't see that one. Mm-hmm. We started watching again for Survivor Series, which was the month the later. Year, yeah. Hell in a Cell was the one I got up to because I watched Night of Champions 2014. <laughs> but I... And it's not even like I consciously, I know I need to watch it, but I know it's just the one Mm -hmm. that I haven't seen. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, But. Yeah. Yeah, no reason for them to drop the title yet because it's obviously going to lead to them feuding. That and the two teams are so good together. Yeah. It's it's something. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, up next, we got The Miz and Jason Jordan fighting for the IC title. So this is us versus the WWE here. I and guess. That, well, you you don't think J- Jordan should have the title yet? No, 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 no. I don't either, but yeah. Put okay. the Miz down for me as well. Yeah. No reason this man shouldn't be holding that title. It's true. Um, like like we had said just before that, I think Bray is, not Bray, um, Balor is the best opponent for the Miz right now. Yeah. Just so, and they, they, they've teased it on a number of occasions. So yeah, it's like not we had even, the Miz TV with yeah. Finn. Yeah. So it's not even like it's not in their minds. Right. So And they're... This, the Miz would be able to carry Finn on the mic, you know, that way, and then Finn could carry him in the ring. Yeah, so, it would be a good feud. Yeah, I, I think so. So, But yeah, this, this one's pretty cut and dry. Oh, we'll probably get Elias during the pre-show. Just having a match? No, he'll probably come out and sing, and then maybe get interrupted by Kalisto or something, and I'm going to throw something at the TV. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> but either way, nothing's confirmed, so it no. really doesn't matter. All right, so... Now we have the, the, I guess the... The toughies. Well, I was going to say the best question. Um, which one of these is going to main event? I think Cena and Reigns is going to. Really? Yeah. Well, well, when The Rock and Cena fought, that was for the title, right? Um, the second, second time. second time it was, yeah. They main evented both times, mm-hmm. but... But this isn't WrestleMania. No, I know. And this That's isn't true. is this isn't the Rock versus John Cena. Yeah. I know they're trying to make it seem that way, but it's not. Well, when was the last time a non title match main evented? Um where the title was defended, obviously. Besides WrestleMania because what the uh, Undertaker and yeah, Reigns. Yeah, that was I feel like well. I feel like it happened with the SmackDown pay-per-view, but maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Either way, um, I, I feel like Lesnar and Strowman is too too big, big to, to not. I, yeah. I mean, I, I agree there. So, I don't know. I, I put John Cena versus Reigns before the Universal title mm-hmm. match. Um, I... It's hard to assume that they're going to put these back to back anyway. But at the same time, this is such a big like match pay per view mm-hmm. oh, that absolutely. there's really no soft matches to put in between. Yeah. So anyway, um, I guess we'll start with John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Sure, since since you're the one setting it up, it's true, and it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Um. So. This is basically, as we alluded to, John Cena versus The Rock, mm-hmm. part two, but with John Cena taking Rock's The Rock's right. role and Roman taking Cena's role. Mm-hmm. Um, the way they did it the first time was that The Rock won, and then Cena got his rep- retribution later on. Mm-hmm. So, so it makes sense for Cena to win the first one. And then yes. Reigns, yeah, go over. But at the same time... There, there, this is a touchy subject with Roman Reigns here. You, you're dealing with a different... A different animal, so yeah. to speak. Because very, very much like Cena, he gets the opposite reactions, mm-hmm. or he gets booed a lot. But I think Cena's boos are less. It's just well, I guess it's, it's the cool thing. To yeah, do it's the fun both. thing to yeah. do. It's it's fun to boo John Cena. But John Cena was already in the role where he was able to yeah. carry the company. Mm-hmm. It's not like this was new to him, you yeah. know. Exactly. So, but. And assuming that John Cena leaves for a while, which I think he's probably going to film I, I another think, movie. I think I think that's what what's going on. So, yeah. um, I think that John Cena is most likely going to win. I am going to agree with you. Yes. All right. So, you know, it sucks, but or it sucks that it's such a kind of cut and dry. Yeah. Because you know, if he leaves, there's no reason. I mean, and especially since WWE does fifty fifty booking, and Roman Reigns had the last word. Yeah. Not so that it's a match, but yeah. But at the same time, it kind of. I don't feel like if Roman wins and Cena's not there, he can benefit from it. No, because what's what's Roman gonna do? He's just gonna go out and say, "I, I beat, beat Undertaker yeah. and John right. Cena," and everybody's gonna boo gonna him be more some backlash. more. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't benefit him any. But so. I mean, what do you do with with him with the time off? If Cena's taking time off, what do you do with Reigns? Anything. 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 
Um, just keep him away from keep him away from the universal title and Joe. Oh, yeah. And then anything. Yeah. Well, him and Joe really haven't had a feud. I know. Feud. I don't think they should put him with Joe, though. Why? Because okay. the, the, Joe made him look bad. Because he beat him? Yeah. Yeah. But so. they worked so well together. That was the problem. Yeah. Well, I think they booked Joe too strong against him, though. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of options. Hell, they can even put him up against The Miz. I don't I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> That's not a good but idea they, at all. That's something they could do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, their their options are limited after after this. But like I said, you could see him and Bray Wyatt again. You know, everyone complains about that, but they didn't really work together that much. There was a couple of matches back in 2014, I think. Yeah. But there's no no really long feud. So, what was what Reigns that came back during the Money in the Bank match and attacked Wyatt, or was the opposite? It was right? Wyatt, no, it was Wyatt who came that back to Reigns. Yeah. yeah, that makes. So there sense. was it wasn't a whole lot of it. It was just some. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, I like I said, it just makes more sense for John Cena to go over now, and Reigns goes over next time. Yeah. So, it like I said, they're probably telling the same story, mm-hmm. or we could be wrong, and we'll all be shocked on Sunday. Hey, that's, I'd rather be shocked than bored. I'm not bored, but you know, unimpressed. Bored. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I'm I'm going with the safe bet. Mm-hmm. Not like I said, these don't matter anyway. Yeah. But, all right, so uh, up next, we have the main event, or what we I think is going to be the main event. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Yeah. For the Universal title. Yep. Thoughts? I like it. You like the match? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, uh, this, is, uh, this is another tough one, mm-hmm. because if you have Braun beat Brock, you know, it's, he's just been controlled the entire thing. Yes. Unless they build to another match at Mania or something like that, where Brock gets his retribution, kind of like the whole Goldberg thing. Not obviously in three seconds like it was. But, well, I had said... But you don't want Brock to win decisively and it kill Strowman's yeah. momentum. Well, the whole thing here, obviously, is that Brock needs to pull out all the or pull out all the stops mm-hmm. to, to take out Strowman. Yeah. The only question is, do they think it's a good story to have him do it? Or is it a better story for him to lose the title, retreat with his tail between his legs, and then come back mm. and go after it at a later date? Or do we get a non-clean finish where Lesnar can't put him away and then he ends up grabbing a chair or something, beats him senseless or something like that? That would also work. Yeah. Um, but I, they really don't do that with Lesnar too much. No, I know, but I mean that kind of... It would make sense. like, yeah, he's not able to do, get the job yeah. done. So I, I personally like... You could have this continuing kind of like in the background. Yeah, but is Lesnar going to be around? I don't think he I is. I thought he was only scheduled to be at No yeah. Mercy. That was it. Yeah. So let's say for argument's sake, he's scheduled at No Mercy and comes back at the Rumble. Mm-hmm. I think that he should lose the title, come back in the Rumble, and win the Rumble. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, too. Yeah. I think I had mentioned that at some Probably. point. Um, but I think that makes the most sense. It gives you an easy Rumble win mm-hmm. where there's not a whole lot of, like, complaining or anything. Yeah. Um, and then that sets up a big match at WrestleMania, the rematch between Braun Strowman and Brock, and Lesnar, Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah, which you could just do these two matches at WrestleMania again. Exactly. Yeah, I think Braun is the right pick. Yeah, so you're picking Bra- Braun. I, I am. Um, because you don't even need to book him in title matches. Like, like he doesn't have he, – he can be on TV with the title, but you don't necessarily have to – Build oh yeah, a it doesn't feud with him and yeah. anybody else. He can just start beating up. It's true. Jobbers and stuff. Or like what that. he'll do is he'll say, "Okay, come, come get me." Right. So it's like the U.S. Open Challenge, except for it's the Universal yeah, Open Challenge. Yeah. You, you know, maybe you get midgets or something like. No, that. No, no. I, Kurt Hawkins of the world. Mm. He's not gonna get like jobber jobbers. No, but he'll yeah. get like the, the I guess the jobbers the, on the, the payroll. lower mid card. Yeah. So. I'm actually maybe we can going get a fun match between Jeff Hardy and Ron Strowman. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually going to go with Brock Lesnar though, 
Because I think that they're going to do the lame thing and have Lesnar win the title after Re- overcoming. The title. Yeah. Well, yeah, retain the title and overcome Braun's power in a very lackluster fashion. That's definitely a possibility. I, I have faith in the WWE to do that. <laughs> Your faith in them not producing. Pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Lesnar. All righty. So, I don't like it, but that's basically... So, the only differences we have are in the women's and the Universal Championship. Yeah. Match. Honestly, I was going to go with whatever you didn't go with with this one, uh, okay. because I was 50-50 on I it. Gotcha. And I had reasons for both of them. Yeah, it makes sense. So... But yeah. So uh, yeah, this was our no mercy prediction. Yeah, hopefully we're uh, somewhat close. Yeah, we'll see. There's been times in the past where we haven't been. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we're terrible at this. <laughs> All right. So if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.